I always joke that uh, coaches live in a state of fear, so I think, uh, no, I think um, every team's good at this point, and so uh, you're trying to get every nuance you can on every team so that your team's prepared, and then you're trying to go into the gym and work on some small things that you think you can be better at in the short term. Um, I would say my mentality is the same, you know, we want to go in and win a volleyball match just as Louisville wants to go in and win a volleyball match. So it doesn't, you know, it's not like a freeing sensation, I guess, knowing that the pressure is getting out of your own region is over now and it's not just... Uh, not, I mean, maybe, maybe a little bit in that, like, little mug thing of home, but do I feel like, ah, if we go and play hard, that's great? No, like, I'm still feeling the same pressure that I feel, and I hope they are too, of the expectation is to go win a volleyball match. Kendra was just talking, just talking about what, uh, job your center's done for you this year. Yeah, I mean, she's been phenomenal. Um, you know, again, Kendra does so much for us, not just setting. She's a great defender, a great blocker, a great leader, um, can distribute the ball all over the place, and, and a great offensive uh, offensive threat. We saw that, you know, numerous times, on, on, especially Saturday night. So, you know, she just does so much for the team, but, you know, she'll, she'll be the first to say, you know, passing opens that up, and the hitters will give credit to her, so they did a nice job of, you know, it's a team sport, everyone's doing their part. How would you describe Kendra's energy and what she brings to the team with that? Kendra is a fierce competitor, and uh, now that doesn't mean that, I mean, she does a pretty good job controlling it um, from a, you know, she's never someone that's biting at people or anything like that. Um, but, you know, she and Nora get lumped together because they came in together, and their personalities couldn't be more different in both wonderful sort of ways, and I think they equalize each other. Um, she's the kid that in practice, you have to say, Kendra, that's not a wall that we want you to run into. Not that Nora's that way, but I mean, they're just, you know, she's just, she hates to lose so much, um, but you know, that just means that she's gonna go after everything and go for everything. Can you start the season? Yeah, we'll have to the beginning of the season, do you verbalize, like, we want to win the national championship. We want to go to the final four. Do you verbalize that? And if so, where are you at on that pecking order? I mean, did you say, yeah, we want to get through that first weekend and now we're here? You know, we do put some outcome based goals up. Uh, Tampa was on our list, you know, so I mean, we do put those up. But those are very secondary. What we talk about much more is the process goals of how do we become great. And, you know, we spend a lot of time talking about that. So those things will mean practicing hard every day getting a good night's sleep, staying on top of academics, um, role acceptance. So those are the key things, I think, to have the outcome goals that you're shooting for. To your last one, here, um, how much of the emotion that you felt on Saturday like, just kind of came pouring out and then to you guys, like after the review, how much of that emotion was uh, due to the way your team has handled constant shift in goals, injuries, the tough stuff that you usually deal with in the fall that you actually have to deal with throughout the season, you know, those tough conversations with how much of the most you can have to I don't think in the moment I was thinking about any of that stuff. I think I was just really overjoyed for our players and our staff and our fans to get to do it at home for the first time. What do you think of Louis? They're a great team. Yeah. They, um, Obviously, pieces all over the place. Uh, local setter, uh, block, the Omaha kid. Um, great coaches, who I consider good friends. And, uh, yeah, we're going to play that all the time. Well, how well do you know Danny? You guys were way back. And, you know, I, know. Uh, I know Danny. Well, I knew who she was when she played in Nebraska, being from Nebraska. And then, uh, you know, I got to know Danny uh, when she was an assistant in Nebraska. One of her very, very best friends is also a friend of mine. So I get her updates there. And then the other big piece is the associate head coach, Dan Meske, is Laura, Laurel Sanford, one of our alums, is that's her husband. So, you know, we've known Dan for years and, uh, you know, he's a phenomenal coach. And then Todd Chamberlain I've known forever and I love Todd. He was at Kansas. And so, yeah, I'm excited to see all those guys. Does it actually come up against people you know or do you just not think about what you call I think you want to beat everybody, right? You know? <laughs> so, uh, I think when I was a younger coach, it became kind of personal sometimes. I'd sometimes have trouble separating that. I think as I've matured, I've realized I can still want to beat someone really bad, but still 
have fondness for them in the process. You mentioned this the other night about the kids being big teenagers. How fun has this ride been for you in, in this journey to see where you're at and to have the success that you've had? Yeah, it, it has. I mean, it's been a fun year. I mean, every year is going to have ups and downs. It's never perfect. I think sometimes people on the outside think it's bliss all the time. It's not. Every team has challenges that they go through. But I think the nice thing with this group is a lot of them, you know, our challenges have not been based on personality conflicts with themselves or with coaches. If, if people have been upset about things, we've had conversations and they've been able to move forward and be a good teammate. So, you know, those are the fun years when you get to spend your frustrations on you know, things that we got to get better on the court rather than team dynamics. And, you know, you can't take those years for granted. You've been in this position before. Your team, what are some of your words of wisdom? It'll be very similar to what we said this weekend. I mean, you know, you got to go for it. And, you know, we leaned into the fact that most young women at the Division one level weren't playing last weekend. You know, we were one of 64, now we're one of 16. So cherish it, take it in. And, and go for it and, you know, play for each other, you know, all the things that we've talked about all year. Um, but you're never going to be successful if you get tight. Like, you got to go for it. So hopefully we can play really soon, play well. shoes right now crate and symbol and all those are amazing yeah uh, we had a supporter get these shoes for our team on Friday and they are pretty amazing the whole thing is decorated out in J stuff even the interior is has the J logo and they're pretty they're pretty I don't know what the right word is flag cool what's hip. it's groovy hip. Cool. Hip. 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 Okay. <laughs> thank you coach <laughs> 